We've got breaking crypto news, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Did I just call the top of Bitcoin? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. Welcome back. As you guys can see, a little different background here. We're here in Bali after Token 2049. Amazing so far. But uh, let's get into the video. Let's talk Bitcoin. Let's talk crypto because we just crossed over 63,000 recently, but there are some crucial resistance lines that allowed me to take a short on Bitcoin right now. We're going to dive into that. We've also got two top stories around Bitcoin too. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because this is jam packed with information you need to know. Even if you don't hold Bitcoin, because a lot of you I know hold meme coins, altcoins, you need to be in the know what's going on with Bitcoin. Why? It's the market mover. It alongside Ethereum makes up 70% of the market. So what happens at the top filters down to the bottom. So when it comes to Bitcoin right now, let's take a look at it. We'll dive in here and uh, take a peek. Would help if I shared the screen with you guys too, wouldn't it? All right, let's take a look here. Bitcoin slowly coming down, guys. As you guys can see, it's 62,900 right now. We're going to see what happens when market opens on Monday. So right now we are in Bali, so it's Sunday at 11 a.m. I know you guys are a little behind that. We have some altcoins moving, pendles moving. That's in the RWA sector. Bittenzer Tau has been on an absolute freaking tear in the AI sector. Uh, we called this one right around 270 bucks. It's now $460, and it wasn't that long ago uh, that we talked about Bittenzer Tau uh, probably going to bounce. We were all over that on our trading indicator XT Algo. I won't go into it in detail, but XT Algo is linked down below. If you guys want to check it out, a little over a dollar a day. Highly encourage you to do so if you're serious about trading, you're serious about making money in the markets, having this tool in your toolbox is going to help. So when it comes to Bitcoin, Bitcoin's pinned below 65,000 right now, but several market structure altering factors are at play. And what we're looking at right now is Bitcoin must overcome resistance right around that $64,000 to $66,000 zone. And personally, I think we'll get there in due time. I just don't think it's going to be right now. I think we're due for a market pullback. And again, when you're placing bets on the market, you're just doing that. Like, I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm looking at this as an opportunity to take a position here short term on Bitcoin. Keep in mind, guys, I buy a little bit of Bitcoin every single day for the long term. But right now, if I take you inside Margex, I've got a 7x position right now on Bitcoin. $200 trade right now, we're up slightly about 1%. I think when we hit market open here on Monday, we're going to dip down a little bit lower, maybe go down there and retest 60,000, 61,000. And uh, I'd be all in for that, at least in the short term before Bitcoin heats back up. But it's been pretty surprising. You know, September is historically the worst performing month for Bitcoin. On average, it goes down around 5% since 2009. We started the month at 59,000. We're currently sitting here just under 63. So we're not out of the woods yet. It's September 22nd, but it's been a pretty solid month here for Bitcoin going against the grain. Many people expected to see the market flush back down and Bitcoin go down to about 53,000, maybe even down to that $50,000 mark. So far, we haven't seen it. Who knows, right? Now, I want to take you inside this as well, because a lot of the things we check in with on Bitcoin now have to do with ETFs, right? So something I always like to look at, are there inflows or outflows? happening. Well, US spot Bitcoin ETFs recently have seen some inflows just under about 100 million, but Bitcoin's still coming down. So there are some traders, I think, taking profits after Bitcoin made its move. Once we got the 50 basis point decision from J-PAL and the feds, the market pumped. And I think when market opens on Monday, more and more people are going to take some profits in the short term. That's again why I took the position here over on Margex. Now, my Margex link is down below, guys. Check it out. There's a lot of great perks. They've got copy trading over there. There's no KYC. You can follow the moves I'm making. I'm going to be making a lot more videos about Margex and the trades that I'm in. As you guys can see, I've got some open positions right now on XRP as well. This one I'm up 65% on right here, a 13x position down here at the bottom. So pretty pumped about that uh, as well. So that's kind of the, you know, uh, story right now in the market. I think uh, surprisingly, Bitcoin's holding up pretty well. You know, it was uh, 
big week, obviously, that we just came out of with Token 2049 and the Federal Reserve Chair, Jay Powell, you know, with the 50 basis point interest rate cut. By the way, on that front, before we get up on out of here, I do think we're going to see two more interest rate cuts this year. That's my prediction. We'll see if it comes true. I think we're going to get two 25 basis point interest rate cuts still here in 2024 with a total of 100. We'll see. Uh, but I think over time, this is going to be a really nice positive catalyst for the market. Why? Well, it brings liquidity and money back into the markets. Risk on assets. Love that, right? When the money printers come on, we start printing too in crypto. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video down below. Subscribe if you have not already. It's totally free to do both of those things. Helps us out a ton here on the channel. And ring the notification bell. So you know when I'm going live, when you know I'm putting out another video. And uh, see you over on Marjex. Let's make some trades together. We'll see you. Peace.